even before all of the X formerly known as Twitter stuff, Mastodon and the wider Fediverse world was relatively popular amongst open source and developery people. To be fair, those were the only people using it back then, but nowadays it's got quite a bit more attention, along with integration into various other platforms. One such platform may end up being GitLab. Created one week ago by Derek Ferguson, support activity pub for merge requests. Now the idea isn't to turn GitLab into a full-on social media platform like Mastodon or anything like that, but a social media platform does share some very similar traits with what goes on already on GitLab. You want to be able to follow a feed, whether that's a feed of commit changes, a feed of releases, or any other sort of feed. This is basically an account follow, and you want to be able to collaborate with other users. This is being able to reply to people. Whilst GitLab.com is absolutely the biggest GitLab server, it's not the only one. You can go and download the GitLab software and run your own version. Now, this is a decentralized system. The problem is it's a little bit too decentralized, and each of these servers, or if you want to use the Fediverse terminology of instance, are completely siloed. Say I have an account on GitLab.com, and there was a project that I wanted to go and support on, say, the free desktop GitLab or the GNOME GitLab, say, I don't know, Cantarell fonts, for example. I wanted to go and make an issue on this repo. Well, I can't go and do that just directly having a GitLab.com account. I need to go and register for an account here, and I can go and use my GitLab.com account to go and sign up for an account here, but it is still a completely separate account. But the same is absolutely not true in reverse. Say I have a gnome.gitlab.org account, and I want to go and make an account on GitLab.com. Well, I can't go and use my GNOME account, I need to go through the entire setup process all over again. And if I'm on the GNOME GitLab, I can't go and search for something on the main GitLab instance or on the free desktop instance. The only things I can find are the projects hosted on this server. I can't go and fork something from another server, I have to go and download the project with Git and then re-upload it here. It's just a really inconvenient way to work. GitLab is an incredible project, and I'm so happy that it exists. But when you compare it to a more centralized platform like GitHub, for example, all of these things are just really inconvenient to work with. But all of these are problems that can be solved without becoming a fully centralized platform. But why ActivityPub? Why a social media protocol as opposed to any of the other protocols out there? Well, it's built on top of HTTP. You don't need to install new software or to tinker with TCP slash UDP to implement ActivityPub. If you have a web server or an application that provides an HTTP API like a Rails application, you already have everything you need. It's built on top of JSON. All communications are basically JSON objects, which web developers are used to using. It's also a W3C standard and already has multiple implementations. Being piloted by the W3C is a guarantee of stability and quality work. They have profusely demonstrated in the past through their work on HTML, CSS, or other web standards that can build on top of their work without the fear of becoming deprecated or irrelevant after a few years. If you're curious about the ins and outs of ActivityPub, the W3C documentation is probably the best place to start. It's obviously very technical, and it's obviously very long, but it is going to give you everything you need. But the simplest part to understand are the API endpoints, all four of them. Get slash inbox, used by the actor to find new activities intended for them. Post slash inbox, used by instances to push new activities intended for the actor. Get slash outbox, used by anyone to read the activities created by the actor post slash outbox used by the actor to publish new activities. Now, actor typically means a user account, but it doesn't have to. Basically, any sort of feed that you want to be able to read and add things into can be an actor, like a project, a group, a release feed, a merge request with comments, an issue with comments, a list of commits, and pretty much anything else. It is intentionally generic, and this is why it works for things like Mastodon, along with Peertube, along with Pixelfed, along with something like Lemmy. All of these are very different platforms, but they all use the same fundamental concepts. And in this case, GitLab is absolutely no different. 
what activity pub doesn't deal with are the complicated problems. You know, how do you deal with spam? Currently this is done by just blocking out servers, but maybe there is another option. How do you go about discovering that new instances actually exist? And how do you do a network-wide search? None of that stuff is directly handled by ActivityPub. But the nice thing for GitLab is they are not the first project that thought, hey, maybe ActivityPub might make a lot of sense for this sort of Git tooling. There is a whole ActivityPub extension called ForgeFed. ForgeFed is a federation protocol for software forgers, for software development lifecycle and ecosystem. This includes repository hosting websites, issue trackers, code review applications, and more. ForgeFed provides a common substrate for people to create interoperable code collaboration websites and applications. If GitLab chose to use this, they would certainly be the biggest project making use of it, but they wouldn't be the first. So we obviously have a reference implementation because everything needs one, but there is a fork of Gitia called ForgeJo. This is a fairly small forge, but it does do the job. And also, an unmaintained Pager? Pager plugin? I actually don't know how to say this, that last got updated about a year ago. So this one doesn't really count. The only one that really matters is ForgeJo. Now, the author of this issue is aware of ForgeFed, but if he wasn't, someone did go make an issue over on the GitLab ActivityPub design. There's already an effort to design an ActivityPub for software forges. It would be great if GitLab would interoperate with this standard, allowing implementation independent federation. Given how ForgeFed already did all the design work, I don't see any reason not to use it when we get there, especially since I learned other forges are implementing it. But of course, I'm just a contributor, I don't speak for GitLab, and I've yet to evaluate in details if ForgeFed would be a good fit. We won't change the whole architecture of GitLab to fit ForgeFed, obviously, but this is a story for another time. For now, we just put in the basis allowing to do anything at all ActivityPub related. Get the absolute basics working, see if it's at all a good idea, and then if it is, then you can expand out further from there. ForgeFed would certainly allow them to integrate with these other platforms that are using it, but regardless of whether they do something in-house or do that, there are still going to be some massive benefits on GitLab. So, why would they want to do this? This would be the ideal workflow. Alice registers to her favourite GitLab instance, like gitlab.example.org, or it could be gnome.gitlab.org, or it could be something she goes and hosts herself. She then looks for a project on a certain topic and sees Bob's project popping up despite Bob being on gitlab.com. She then clicks the fork button and gitlab.com slash bob slash project dot git is forked to gitlab.example.org slash alice slash project dot git. So it gives you that graphical option to fork a project and you don't have to go do it directly with the git tool. It just does it all magically for you. She then makes her edits and opens a merge request which appears in Bob's project on gitlab.com. So cross instance merge requests. Alice and Bob discuss the merge request, each one from their own GitLab instance. So they're commenting from their own servers as well, like you can comment from different servers on Mastodon. Bob can then send additional commits, which are picked up by Alice's instance. When Bob accepts the merge request, his instance picks up the code from Alice's instance. No need to make an account on both servers, you just have your account and can do anything you want on any of the servers that decide to connect with you. Some of this stuff like cross-instance searching is going to require additional work outside of ActivityPub, but you don't go and do one and not the other. Whilst this is really, really cool, this issue was made a week ago. We are still quite a while away from actually seeing this in production. And when it does start going into production, it's going to be rolled out in various stages. Firstly, implementing ActivityPub for a social following. So you can subscribe to project releases or subscribe to project creation in topics or probably subscribe to commits being made on certain branches and things like that. After that is when you start getting the more useful features. That's when you start getting the cross-instance searching, the cross-instance forking, the cross-instance discussions for things like issues and merge requests, and then the ability to submit cross-instance merge requests. That is a long way away, but I really, really hope it happens. There are also a bunch of sub-issues that are being worked on, and one of them is actually marked as complete. Not because it's actually complete, 
This is the Activity Pub subscribe button. It's marked as complete because it's currently out of scope. Because the very first thing is get it so you can actually subscribe to things, but not subscribe on GitLab itself. Have it so you can subscribe from like, a Mastodon account, for example, and just keep track of a project. Now, I know someone is going to say, can't all of this just be achieved by using email and mailing lists? And yes, the Linux kernel does do this, and yes, it does work really well for them. But, just because we are reinventing the wheel, doesn't mean we can't make a better wheel. People nowadays are very familiar with working with this, I guess, social media light way of working with the Git repo, and I don't know how many people would be happy to go back to what there was before. But maybe you would be. So let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Maybe you like the idea of ActivityPub. Maybe you don't. If you have a better idea, please do let me know. I would love to know. So if you like the video, go like the video. And if you really like the video and you want to become one of these amazing people over here, check out the Patreon, subscribe, sleep, bear, pay, linked in the description down below. That's going to be it for me and... Imagine if GitHub also implemented ActivityPub.